Hey guys, Maxi Design here and welcome to a new video. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to do this. Um, basically how to create a poster that I recently made. Uh, here we go. So, this is the poster that I recently um, produced. Um, I think it looks quite kind of cool. Um, and I'm going to quickly show you guys how I produced it. Um, it's quite an easy it's quite an easy poster to make. Um, and it doesn't really require that many steps. So, all you want to start with is a simple square so the image size uh, or the canvas size that i'm going to be using um, is this so if you want to use these measurements here remember that they are in inches and the resolution is in 300 i've also put the um i've i've personally put the um color color the color what do you call it basically it's an RG, rgb the mode of the color um, is an RGB. This is because I'm, I'm, primar prim bleh, I'm primarily using um, uh, using the image on the internet. And if you want to use something for the internet, you need to use RBG. Um, and then if you want to use um, something for print, then you've got to use CMYK um, as the two modes. Just learn the difference, um, and it will save you a lot of time in the end run. Because if you have made something for print that's in RGB. Um, it's really hard to revert it, and sometimes it loses quality, uh, quality um, and sometimes it just looks awful and the colours aren't true to what you wanted them to be. Um, so yeah, learn the difference between those two. Um, but yeah, so let's get into what I wanted to show you. So if I grab the rectangle tool from over here, what I'm going to try and do in these tutorials is be a bit more... Um, I'm going to show you guys a little bit more of how I do it because I think I go a little bit too quickly um, when I'm showing you because I've, I've had a quite a few comments to say that they didn't understand how I did a few things. So I'll be a little bit slower for the, for the beginners out there. Um, I might do some more advanced tutorials on, you know, like uh, things that are someone who's been using Photoshop or he's been using Illustrator for a longer time would understand. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll stick to the beginners for now because I feel like there are a lot more beginners in my, in my on my YouTube um, than there are um, people who are a little bit more experienced. Um, so yeah, I'll stick with that. So what you want to do is grab the rectangle, delete this one. Um, <clears throat> you want to hold shift and then drag. This means that you can make uh, a perfect square. Um, it just means that it locks the height and width um, from going more than the other one. Um, so it locks them at the same length as long as you are in control of where you're dragging it. Um, I'm going to go up to this setting here, the stroke options, and I'm going to go to align and I'm going to go to the middle one. This means that the stroke that I apply will be in the middle of where the lines are. <coughs> so I'm going to make it uh, uh, 20. 25 maybe just see how thick that is it's relatively thick yeah I'm gonna make it like 20 I think yeah 20 um, and then what I'm gonna do is take that make sure there's no fill make sure there's, there's a big red line through the fill because you don't want any white or anything covering because you want it to overlap uh, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna press ctrl J I'm gonna move it across like so uh, then I'm going to press Control T and make sure that you've selected the, the layer that you just copied. Um, and then I'm going to move it and I'm just going to resize it, <clears throat> something like that. And then I'm going to press Control J again to duplicate that again. I'm going to move it across, Control T. You guys get the picture. Uh, I'm going to do that a bunch of times until I've kind of got a build up of squares and rectangles. Um, like so. I'm going to move this one up like that. Move this. Like that. So that's what I'm going to do for now. I'm going to make this one a little bit smaller, like so. Yeah, like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the layers panel. I'm going to scroll down, make sure that you've got this one selected at the top. Scroll down to the bottom one, not the white on the background. <clears throat> I'm going to press Control J. That will duplicate all those layers. And then you want to press this group icon. And this will be a group 
called bottom layer. Uh, like so, it doesn't matter what it's called. Um, now I'm going to drag it to the bottom. I'm going to merge the group. I'm going to double click. I'm going to press color overlay and I'm just going to make it red for now. Um, and then what you want to do is press Control T on the layer just merged and turned red. And you just want to move it to about there. You don't want to move it too far because what you're going to end up doing is joining these lines. So it kind of looks 3D. Um, so yeah. So what you now want to do is decide which one, which uh, which squares are going to be in the foreground and which ones are going to be in the background. Um, so what I'm going to do is click on this square right here, this original square. I'm going to right click and I'm going to press rasterize. That allows me to edit the layer. And then I'm just going to take my eraser and get rid of about that much. So this one is going to be in the background. Um, then what I'm going to do, if you want to make it easier for you guys, just get rid of this background layer for now. Um, you only really need to do it then because um, you need to keep those lines in that you're going to erase now. Um, right, so let's get rid of this one. Remember to rasterize before you do it. Um, let me get rid of that. So this one is going to be in the foreground, and the one I've just deleted is going to be in the background. Uh, and I'm just going to do it for all of these. It doesn't matter which ones you bring to the foreground and which ones you bring to the background. Um, it's all a matter of preference, whichever one you think will look best. Um, an important thing is not to try and click and rasterize like this because this happens and it just fills the whole thing. Um, so you want to right click and then rasterize. So I'll get rid of that and I'll get rid of that. Um, here, I think I'm going to get rid of this. This one's already been rasterized, so I don't need to do anything to it. Like so. This one's going to be in the foreground, so I need to get rid of this. This one has already been... Oh, I need to get, just keep that line in. Uh, like so. Get rid of this. Like so, and we can also get rid of this bit here. Right, so that should be a little bit clearer as of what I'm doing. I'm making most of these layers have some kind of depth. So these squares are what so some of them are in the front, some of them are behind. Um, then what I'm going to do is take the bottom layer, zoom in a little bit, um, and then I'm going to take the pen tool. And I'm going to start it here and join it to here. And I made this, what, 20? And then do the same thing, make it aligned to the center using the layer, the stroke options on the top. Uh, and then what you want to just do is make sure it's aligned. So this is relatively easy. You can move, you can use your arrow keys so it's not. <clears throat> what I did there was I pressed control and I clicked on the blue dot. And then I'm using my arrow keys to just Kind of maneuver it and then you can do exactly the same over here control and then click on the dot and then move these sort of lines like that okay so don't worry about this bit because we're going to make this black and that will blend in um so now you've got your uh side of your box so what you want to now do is take this control j to duplicate um, and basically just make sure every single one has um, has a side to it. So let's just do this one quickly. Let's move this down. Let's move this one across. They should all fit because all the boxes are equal distance away from one another. Um, just make sure all of these are looking all right. They don't need to be perfect, but as long as they are, they look 
right from the eye. Um, then it should be fine. Um, move this one up a little bit. There are quite a few, so just make sure you don't miss any <clears throat> before you move on to the next step. Um, just make sure all of these are done. Remember, if you want to move the um, whatever shape you're using on the on like an axis, so it doesn't um, move around. Um, if you just hold shift while you're moving it, the distance that you're the 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 way you move it will lock, and it won't go side to side. It will just go up or to the side. Um, so I've got a few more to do. Make sure you get the ones in the middle as well, because this is what makes it look all right. Um, move that. Move that over here. Like so, we've got one more to do, I think. That should be it. I'm just gonna make a, I'm just gonna do a double check. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna miss one, but it doesn't really matter for the purpose of the video. Um, and then what I'm going to do is rasterize the red layer behind and I'm going to remove the lines I do not need. So you kind of want to go around, just make sure you are thinking about which lines need to be on this. Most of the ones are going to be on the outside. So like for instance, we need this line here, um, but we do not need these lines. Um, we need this line down here, and I'll show you how to get rid of the um, lines in a second. We don't need this line, I don't think, no? But we need this line here. Uh, we don't need any of these. We don't need any of these in here. That's cool. Okay. When you're rubbing these out, you just want to get as close to this as possible and then leave it for later because you'll be able to do it properly later on. This one. Okay. Right. So we've got our things here. So what we can get rid of now is this. Uh, we actually don't need this. We can get rid of this. Right, so if we go to the red layer, we click on here, double click. Uh, you can do color overlay and make it the same color, like so. And then we can go in and get rid of the right amount. So if you take the the, um, the rectangular marquee tool and you go ahead and get rid of these portions of it by using control X when you're rubbing out you kind of just want to make sure everything is taken out that needs to be taken out just make sure all that Remember, control X to remove, um, and then we'll go back and we'll get rid of these lines here. I think we've got one more to do. Yeah. Um, right. Right, so now that's done, we want to go into these lines, and you want to remember to rasterize before you try and delete the part you don't need. Because otherwise it will do the same thing as the box and it will just make the whole screen 
filled with the colour that the, that the line is. Um, So just go around and do all of these, and we are nearly done. Should have. Oh no, that's all of them. Right. Um, so notice here, I've actually forgotten to do a couple. So I've got to do the one here, and I've got to do the one here. But it doesn't really matter. Um, you can. Um, I actually forgot to do them in my um, <clears throat> my one here but I actually started just to just leave them so I did three of these little things um, and they started to kind of create some cool patterns like this here um, how the box goes in inside another box um, I just thought it looked quite cool um, so to add color that's really easy you just take the rectangle tool again you want to go to the bottom layer you want to add a new layer um, and the colors I used are Kind of just, um, kind of just uh, colors I found on the internet. I just basically, if you want to go to my YouTube, I actually produced a um, a video about uh, color palettes and how to find the, the like, kind of the best color palette. So I'll put that in the description below. It's really helpful. Um, it's what I use for every single. Um, Every single piece of art I try to create, um, I always uh, I always use a color palette from there because I think it helps to see it in front of you before you put it to, to, to use. Um, so I use lots of like pastely colors in this one. So to get rid of this, you literally just rasterize the layer and then use the marquee tool and delete like you did with the lines. Um, yeah, and I went through every single box. I left some of them white because. I thought it looked good on the white background. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I'm going to try and post three times a week. I think this is my third video in the week. So next video will probably be out this weekend, uh, Sunday probably. Um, if you guys want to comment down below what you want to see from these videos um, or if there's any, anything specific that you want to learn. Um, I always find that if you see something you like and you try to reproduce it, sometimes it won't work, but you've learned something in the process. Um, so we could probably do that together. I could um, have a look at what you guys want to learn and I can try and reproduce it for you guys and see if I can find a way to um, show you guys how to how to make it. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Make sure you subscribe down below. Um, leave a comment and subscribe or follow my Instagram. Um, that's where I post the majority of my work um, and yeah we, I, I got a, quite a few follows from the last video um, so it's really nice to see you guys um, heading over and following so that's pretty much it see you guys in the next video see ya.